Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Denham Golf Club Station today. And I've come to tell you about my new hoodie for my Miniature Railway Britain series. Now, there's not actually a Miniature Railway here, but I want to tell you about Rail Trail Tours, who have kindly sponsored my new hoodie. So we've come into the Grade 2 listed waiting pagoda at Denham Golf Club Station. This is one of two. We'll have a look at them in a minute and the rest of the station. But first, I just want to tell you a little bit about Rail Trail Tours, who kindly sponsored the Miniature Railway Britain hoodie. This is their latest brochure. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of the holidays and explain about how their rail ticketing from your home station to the holiday works. So for example, this one here, ship shape and Bristol fashion. Now I appreciate you can't see everything that's written but if you would like one of these brochures then if you ring up the rail trail office and speak to one of their friendly members of staff they'll be more than happy to put one in the post for you so this holiday is based in bristol and if you were to buy the rail trails rail inclusive package they could do your tickets from your home station so say it was here at denham you and or denham golf you could they would do your tickets from denham golf to Bristol Temple Meads, so that would include tickets from here to London Marylebone, the London Underground between London Marylebone and London Paddington, and they'd do you either a first class or a standard class seat reservation from Paddington to Bristol Temple Meads, whichever you wished to buy. They can also do you a tour base fare, which means if you didn't want to buy uh, rail tickets through Rail Trail, you could drive to Bristol or make your own way there, that they can do that as well for you. I'm not going to go through all the holidays in the brochure because there's so many, but as I said, you can ring up and get one for yourself. But regarding miniature railways, some of the miniature railways I'm going to visit on my series are included on their holidays. For example, this one here, the Lake District and Cumbria Mountains Explorer, visits the Ravenglass and Estelle Railway. And there's various other holidays. This one here, Step Back in Time, visits the Heathershaw Light Railway, so that's 15 inch. So that will be included at some point in my Miniature Railway Britain series. And coming out soon, there'll be the Rail Enthusiast and Steam Tours brochure will be out in the next um, month or so. And that will include even more miniature railways and indeed narrow gauge and standard gauge railways and some heritage tramways. Certain miniature railways that include one of my favourites, the Beckenscott Light Railway. So, you know, do ring up and um, speak to the friendly office staff. They'll be able to, to post you one of these brochures if you would like one. So now I've told you about what Rail Trail Tours can do if you travel by train to one of their holidays. I'm now going to show you around Denham Golf Club Station because it's a railway station that's always fascinated me. It's one of these ones that's just a little bit different. It has quite a rural feeling to it. Now, as I said, we're inside this corrugated iron waiting pagoda. You can see up into the roof. I think these are possibly the only ones left on the national network. There are some on Heritage Railways, and as I said, they're listed buildings. So if we look here, there's this one we've just been sitting in. And there's another one on the other platform. We'll go over there in a moment because I want to show you around the station. That way's looking towards London Marylebone and that way looks towards George Cross, High Wycombe, etc. So this station was a later addition to the railway. The railway opened in 1906 as part of what's known as the Final Link or the Bicester Cut-Off route. Um, out of London Marylebone. London Marylebone already existed as the Great Central's terminus, but this section of line was built to High Wycombe to join up with the already existing Wycombe Railway, which came from Maidenhead and Bourne End. Unfortunately, the Bourne End to Maidenhead section is closed. Ever since they closed it, I think they wish they'd reopened it. There's a train coming. Maybe one day that will reopen. Let's just see this train, and then we'll go and have a look on the other side. So that train's heading north, we're on platform one. There's a train due fairly soon. I know the dot matrix indicator and cameras don't work and it goes all sort of like that, but there's a train to London Marylebone at, in about at 13.32, so in about 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take you onto the other platform to show you the other waiting pagoda. So the station, you approach it up these two paths, that one there, onto um, Slade Oak Lane, which heads off towards Chalfont St. Peter. And there's this path here, which goes down towards the village of Denham Golf Club. Now, we have featured Denham in the past. We've been to Denham Village. It's quite an interesting area, Denham, because you've got Denham Village, and then there's Denham Railway Station, about half a mile that way. And then they 
built new Denham on the road to Uxbridge and then Denham Green grew up around Denham Station and then as I said the railway was here opened in 1906 in 1912 they decided to build this station called Denham Golf Club Platform at the requests of the golfers the golf course is just across the lane over there I don't think there's many people playing golf today because it's quite a cold autumn day so they opened this station for the golf clubs clubbers it was called Denham Golf Club Platform which meant it was a bit more than a halt but not quite a station if you look there it says Denham GC so Denham Golf Club so any golfers who travel to the station now whether they do or not I don't know It'd be interesting if a train pulled in we saw people getting off the golf clubs they would walk off up that way to the golf club so I'm now going to take you down under the railway bridge and we're going to have a look on the other side so you can see it says station sign there Denham Golf Club so the village you've got here this is known as Higher Denham so around the railway station a village called Higher Denham grew up there's something interesting here that it's an unstaffed station now but originally even though or I don't know about originally but at some point during its life it did become a staff station and a building on this site was the ticket office now the building we see today isn't the original unfortunately the original one which looked very similar was destroyed by fire in an arson attack but due to the station's listed status they decided to build a new one and I believe it houses all the equipment for the dot matrix indicators and the rail announcements etc because I remember after the fire all the dot matrix indicators were broken and there were no announcements so what they did was they rebuilt it to um, you know provide the scene of how the station would have been originally but the one thing that was never put back was the ticket window so the original one there would have been I can't remember which side of the door it was but there'd have been a little ticket window where originally they'd have sold tickets I'm now gonna walk up the slope we'll go and have a look at the other pagoda There's a train coming speeding towards London Maryland I like the children line in that there's still some loco hall trains I don't know if we'll see one today I've, they don't tend to run in the middle of the day it's more in the morning commuters and evening commuters but you never know so if we come up here here's the we're now coming on to the down platform and we get a better view really of the whole scene of the station with its pagoda shelters so there's the ones we, the one we were in a moment ago here's the one on this side let's have a little look inside it's quite dark in this one it's quite a, there's a loft so it's quite a sparse station no ticketing facilities another train coming and um, pretty much not a lot other than you can get on trains although it does have now quite an intense service it used to only have a train about once every two hours when I say intense um, more than every two hours it certainly has more than it used to but as you can see a lot of trains don't stop here that's going to Birmingham Moor Street so here we are at Denham Golf Club Station and if you look I don't know if the camera's picking it out I can just see Denham Station about half a mile that way so from Denham Golf Club Station thank you very much for watching thank you very much to Rail Trail Tours for sponsoring the new miniature railways hoodie and next time I wear this hoodie I'll be at a miniature railway rather than a full-size one. So thanks very much for watching and goodbye.